Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Jimmy Landry. I am the Artist Relations Manager for Cakewalk and also the Head of PR. I work out of New York City for Cakewalk. And uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to SCAN for having me here today. I really appreciate being here. Uh, if you're watching this and you're a, a SCAN fan, you're a lucky person. I do these webinars uh, quite often all over the place, and these guys really know what they're doing. So thank you very much for having me here, first of all. Um, why I'm here today in Bolton uh, I've got an announcement, which is a, a really big breakthrough for us. I'm super, super excited about it. I've been working for the company for a while now, and this is uh, by far for me personally even uh, the most exciting news that I've ever um, been fortunate enough to share with people. And we are now coming out with uh, Sonar X3, which is coming out on uh, uh, today. So this is actually an announcement through SCAN. This is the first announcement that we're having. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about what uh, Sonar X3 is all about. So obviously some of you may be uh, Sonar X1 users or 8.5 or X2. And I want to show you why X3 is um, really a different style for us and a very exciting, um, an exciting product. So before X3, some of you might know, maybe you're not, maybe you're, uh, you've, you don't even know about Sonar, which I'll go through uh, what it's all about anyway, but Sonar X2, we had Sonar X2 Essential, Studio, and Producer. These were all a 99, 199, and, and 499. And really the focal point of everything was Sonar X2 Producer, which was the 499, which gave you everything you needed pretty much to make a, a, a great sounding uh, a great sounding recording. So now what we've done is we've kind of reshifted that and we're for Sonar X3, we're, we've gotten rid of Essential and we're going with Sonar X3 as our I wouldn't call it a flagship, but that's basically, we, we've really put a lot of energy into Sonar X3 this time around with core functionality. So everything that you get in Sonar Producer, like all the big ticket items, the 64-bit uh, processing engine, the comping tool, which I'm going to show you guys, um, the uh, unlimited tracks, unlimited MIDI tracks, unlimited sends, all that stuff is in the core functionality of Sonar X3. So why did we do that? We really wanted to connect with new users. We, we felt like it was, it was time to kind of take the fences down and really allow more people to kind of get into this industry or be able to create tracks on their own at this price for $99. And uh, it's going to be, what, $79 in the UK? So $79 in the UK for, uh, for the base Sonar X3. So um, probably a lot of you guys that are watching this as well uh, are kind of like me. Maybe have you maybe you have a full time job. Um, maybe not. Maybe you're doing it full time. But for me, I I, I make money on the side doing productions. Uh, I used to be a staff producer for Capitol Records in New York City. I've done a lot of songwriting for people and things like that. So this really enables me to be able to uh, to make money on the side of my full time job, which is great. Um, so that's kind of like where our head is at. We really wanted to give people the, an opportunity to get in on the ground floor and then be able to grow with it and get up to the studio and the producers. So I'm just going to go through a little bit here and show you guys uh, what is it, what, it, what exactly is in Sonar X3, X3 Studio and X3 Producer. And then I'm going to get into uh, actually playing some tracks for you and showing you uh, a big production that I just had um, that I just did with, with Javier Colon, who was the winner of NBC The Voice in the United States, um, the original winner. We did a track together for Sonar X3, and I'm going to play that for you and kind of show you uh, what the capabilities are in this program, specifically inside the box of, of Sonar. So the base version here, X3, is uh, unlimited audio. Enhanced audio engine is awesome. We have gobbler integration now, so if you're like me and you do a lot of tracks, sometimes you go to bed and you're not sure if you're backed up or not, it's... Uh, it's kind of not a great feeling when you go to bed and uh, you don't know if your tracks are going to be there in the morning. So we've integrated a great company, uh, Gobbler. They have an awesome product to just hit a button and everything is completely backed up to a cloud for you. So it works It works seamlessly inside of Sonar. You can also share cha uh, tracks with people. Um, you can back up to the cloud. It's, it's a great, great thing and uh, much needed, especially with the way the music industry is going right now. Um, we also have SoundCloud, so you can export directly to SoundCloud. Um, another really exciting thing is VST support. So VST3 is completely supported in Sonar X3 now. Um, not just studio or producer, but the core Sonar X3, you're going to get VST3 compatibility. Um, we're really excited about that as well. So another cool thing, you guys probably know about a uh, little uh, thing called YouTube. It's... Uh, 
not so little anymore. <laughs> but uh, a lot of uh, artists are finding themselves, uh, they're, they're getting discovered on YouTube. As, as everyone knows that's watching, watching this, it's not any secret that uh, the major labels have been in a little bit of trouble for a while now. And you can really um, make a career out of, uh, you know, being an independent artist. So we've integrated a, uh, an export to YouTube directly in Sonar, and that comes with X3 as well, right across the board, X3 Studio and Producer. And uh, it's a great thing. You can export uh, video and audio together. So if you have a video and you want to make better audio for it, there you go. And you can just uh, upload it directly to YouTube. We have uh, an enhanced video section as well across the board for uh, all three products. So uh, X3 comes with 12 virtual instruments, 27 effects, including the new Sinitis. Uh, it's not new, but it's new to Sonar X3. It's the Sinitis Suite. It's a great, great workhorse um, uh, effect suite. Uh, compressor, um, modulation, delays, I'll show you all that in a second. Um, and also uh, TH2 Sonar, which is made by Overloud and Cakewalk together. It's a great amp sim. It has a Randall amp in it, a um, bunch of other different amplifiers. So if you're a guitar player, this is uh, an amazing sounding uh, module to get great guitar tones right inside the box. So we also have custom color schemes now, which is in my mind, huge as a music producer, um, I tend to get a little overwhelmed with some of, the, some of these productions that I have. I'll have up to 100 tracks sometimes. So now we have color customization uh, inside Sonar, which I'll show you, which is really, really cool. And you can automatically route to buses. So if you have like a stack of uh, synths and you want them all to go through the bus and the bus is colored, green, all your tracks are going to turn green. It's really, really cool, and you'll see it in a second here. Uh, so I'm going to go through, and I'll, I'll pull up Studio and Producer as I get down the road here. Um, so again, Sonar X3, I just went through all this stuff. Um, let me show you the, uh, get into the new comping tool here. So what I'm really excited about is the comping tool for Sonar, and that's in X3, the, the original version, Studio and Producer. And um, if you can kind of uh, get me over to Sonar, I want to show these guys a little bit about what the, what the comping tool is. So comping, if you maybe some of you don't know what it is, maybe some of you do, probably most of you do, but um, with music production nowadays, it's not like you just sing straight through. Um, you do sometimes if you have an amazing singer or if you, that's how you want to capture it, but sometimes uh, you want to capture maybe a verse, you want to capture five different takes of one verse and then go to the second verse and capture five different takes of that verse um, go back to the chorus and kind of skip around so what this initial what what this does is we have a new comping mode and i'm going to show you right now what this is so i've got a lead lead vocal take right here of uh, javier cologne this has already been recorded obviously and uh let me just solo up his guitar here just to make sure that we have some audio cool so this is the song that I'm going to show you later um, with the full production, but this is just uh, acoustic and vocals that are cut here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the comping tool now. So I'm going to go down here. These are his. These are the take lanes that I have. So it automatically uh, goes into take lanes. You can just hit record and go one right after the other. You can keep it recording, and it's automatically going to make uh, take lanes for you if you want, or you can stop and, and, and just create another take lane. Um, or it, it will automatically create take lanes for you if it's recording over another track that you previously recorded. I don't have a ton of time to get in to show you how it is, but trust me, it works uh, amazing. And that's how I was able to track this whole production pretty quickly with, uh, with Javier. So I'm going to go in here now, and I'm just going to take this. This is the comping tool. So when I go to the bottom of the, of the uh, clip, it turns into this guy. And when I go to the top, it just turns into a regular one. So what this does is this actually enables me to make a split point. So I'm going to just split this here, and you'll see that it splits all the tracks together that are in here. I'm going to get this out of the way because it's a little confusing. Um, so I'm going to hit record. I'm going to hit play here, and you'll see what it does. Don't like that one. Okay. Not into that one. So this is the best one here. Cool. So on to the next. What I'm going to do over here now is I'm just going to make another split point here and bring this over. 
and this is automatically again going to make a split point for me so I don't have to do anything I don't have to think about it all I have to do is just hit play right here and you'll see what's happening Cool, so I like this one the best here. So this is automatically promoted up to the parent track, which is right here. It's, it's fast, it's efficient, and you can just motor right through all these things and come up with the best takes and just promote them automatically to the parent track. And you can also edit these. You've got new crossfades, which is great, so you don't have to think about taking two split points and crossing them, it automatically uh, does a crossfade for you. And another cool feature about this is what we have uh, inside. It's called the uh, quick comping. So what I'm going to do here, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm just going to hit shift and hit the space bar. And this is going to actually solo this. And I don't even have to use my mouse or anything. I can skip around with these keys. It automatically goes to the beginning of the split point. I can go over to the next one. And when I like the take, I just hit enter and it automatically promotes it up to the top. And if I want to, I can even hit the dim solo button right here so that I get tracks in the background as well. It's really amazing. So if I like that one, I just promote that up. So it's lightning fast way to really get the best takes possible and comp them together so that at the end of the day you're going to have uh, the best performance that you um, that you can get really I mean uh, there's no reason why you can't have amazing performances now with this stuff so that's uh, a very exciting feature that goes through uh, Sonar X3 Sonar Studio X3 Studio and Sonar X3 Producers so that's uh, a core feature as well that we're really really excited about and once you get into it you'll see uh, there's more features that I don't have time to really get into, but uh, it's a very, very powerful, powerful tool. Um, let me get into uh, a little bit of the custom colorization here now. So as you can see, if you can swing back to the other thing there, uh, we have color customization now in Sonar X3, and that again goes across the board with all three versions of this. Um, again, for me personally, it's, it's a huge break f breakthrough for me because I just, my brain... <laughs> Sometimes doesn't work right when I'm uh, looking at, you know, 50 or 60 uh, gray tracks. So for me to be able to see and customize and, um, you know, make colorful tracks is, uh, is a huge breakthrough, I think, personally. Uh, so right here I can just make my guitar tracks, my acoustic guitar tracks this color. And you can also have it, uh, I don't have these going through any bus, but... It will automatically uh, update these tracks if you have a bus that's running through. So if these two uh, acoustic guitars are running through, the outputs are running through a bus, and the bus is this color, these tracks will automatically uh, be that color as well. So that's a huge feature uh, for me. We had it back in Sonar 8.5, and then when we got into the X series, um, we concentrated on other features. So it wasn't like we took out features, but when we switched over to, uh, to the X version of Sonar, uh, we didn't really do a lot of the custom colorization, so we're back into that, which we're excited about. Let me move along here. I know we don't have a ton of time, so I just want to give you uh, an overview of what's going on. I got through Gobbler, the YouTube, which I talked about. Um, Session Drummer 3 is new to Sonar X3. So Sonar X3 Essential, uh, Sonar X2 Essential was the beginning model. Now we have Sonar just X3 Base, which I'm talk talking about all the core functionality. Session Drummer 3 comes with uh, Sonar X. Th Session Drummer 3 comes with Sonar X3 now, um, the base model. So it's a it's an awesome way to get real pro sounding drums um, for this price of a hundred dollars. You really can't beat this uh, this this effect uh, this instrument sorry so I'll show you a little bit about how easy it is just to get going with uh, with session drummer so I'm gonna go over here to my browser which is over on the right hand side And by the way you're probably seeing me for those of you that aren't familiar with sonar what you're looking at here is the skylight interface and it's it's sonar's way of uh, it's our user interface basically so I'll just go through that before I get into session drummer so you see what I'm doing but over here I'm gonna hit B so this is the browser You've got all your plugins here. 
You've got all your uh, audio effects, all your audio instruments, everything you can call up on the fly. Um, over here to my <laughs> my right, it's backwards, so <laughs> I'm like it's a little weird for me. Uh, I'm gonna hit I, and that's the inspector actually. So that is uh, gives you a bunch of information of the track. This is the track that uh, that I have highlighted right now, and this is actually the bus that it's uh, routed to automatically so if I've got this this is gonna pull up this is the bus that it's routed to so that's really cool you can see where your uh, where your um, tracks are routed to uh, and I go up to the top here and this is the uh, control bar which is basically your control central station for all of sonar over here on these these are all modular um, you can rearrange these modules on top if you want this is the smart tool so when this smart tool is enabled my cursor is gonna do different things when it's over uh, in different locations on the uh, on the clip and this just goes through all the different tools that you can have and you can uh, you know hit quick keys for this and program any quick key that you want to, to really fire through this stuff fast for editing purposes uh, this is the grid obviously on off if you want um, we also have the uh, the smart grid which thinks for you so the more you scroll in um, the more the uh, the more precise your grid is going to be so if you're on I don't have it enabled right now. Uh, let me just enable the smart grid. So you'll see the grid moving as I go here. You'll see this is on an eighth note right now, but when I actually get closer in, it's going to go to a half note. So uh, that was introduced in X2. I think there's some been there's been some uh, a little bit of uh, work on that as well, refinements on that. But it really enables you to, uh, to, you don't really have to think about it, about your grid as much anymore. It just kind of thinks for you. It's real handy. I find myself going up here and uh, rearranging this less and less and less. So it's pretty cool. Um, this is just all your basic stuff. Loops here. Uh, this is your control station. So if you want to mute everything or turn off your effects or turn off your uh, delay compensation, can do that. This is really cool. I use this a lot in my studio in New York. This is uh, screen sets. I couldn't live without this anymore. Um, screen sets, some of you may or may not know, some of you may use it, but um, you have 10 screen set um, template, not templates, you have uh, screen set positions where you can have anything you want. You can rearrange it. It's automatically going to remember. So if I want this to um be I'll pull this out here and throw this down over here on this side. So if I want my, you know, this to be over there, or if you want to pull something down into the dock, it's gonna remember that for you. So when I go back to one and then I go back to two. And the great thing about this is that it really remembers everything and it and it works with multiple screens. So my studio uh back in New York I have uh, one big screen here that I use for effects and I have two screens that are next to each other. I have all my buses on one screen and all my, all my uh, tracks on another screen and then I go to screen set number three and it'll just be all my effects. So you can really toggle back and forth with the number keys to, uh, to, to organize um, your view uh, for mixing, for editing, for recording. Really, really cool and helpful. Uh, these are all basic stuff, and this is the module that I was talking about with uh, Gobbler. I'm not online right now, so if I press this button, it's going to uh, give me a, uh, uh, a sign to get up online. But all you do is you just hit that button right there, and your Gobbler module comes up, and you can automatically back up. So, I mean, that's huge for people that are making money at this. You don't want to go to bed wondering if your tracks are going to be there in the morning. Uh, you can save as often as you want. You can also... Um, you can also uh, share with people on Gobbler, which is huge. But what I'm going to do now is I just want to show you uh, with Sonar X3 base, uh, so with Sonar X3, the, the base model, um, I want to show you Session Drummer 3. So I'm just going to pull this in. It's automatically going to populate here. This is going to come up, and I'm just going to load a kit. And I will load... Uh, load this guy right here. And what's cool about Session Drummer 3 is that you can also have all your outputs go to um, go to their own outputs. So if you have like your kick, you want your kick to go through just its specific kick 
uh, channel, your snare can go through a snare. You can automatically route this, which I'm going to show you in a second how easy it is to do. But uh, great sounding kit here. Um, and I'm going to go over here and I can just pull in uh, something like, uh, um, let's see. Go into maybe electro. So as you can see here, you can just automatically audition right through the browser now. So you don't have to like load anything else up. You can automatically route things through uh, through the virtual synth. So you can hear it on the fly. You can pick your loops, and then once you hear something that you like, all you have to do is just drag and drop that loop and put it right in to uh, and it's automatically going to populate for you. So if I just solo this, that's just going to play that guy right there. Obviously musically not the uh, the right MIDI choice on the fly here, but for a demonstration purpose. So to bring this one step further here, I'm going to undo the pace. I'm going to undo that guy, and I want to show you guys something that's really, really a time saver. Um, this is not, this isn't necessarily new to uh, to, to Sonar X3, but um, this is something that is uh, really, really cool. So if you go here, um, I'm gonna go to uh, drums, track templates here, and I'll just pull in. Uh, Session Drummer 3. So you can pull in uh, track templates and it's automatically going to populate for you. So if you, it takes you 15, sometimes takes me sometimes 10 minutes to route everything into Session Drummer so that I have uh, separate outputs. It takes a second to, you know, route something from the kick into certain buses. Sometimes I use uh, parallel compression. Sometimes I use uh, a couple different masters or I'll shoot the toms through another bus. This is a way to save your work and then you can just, you just saw that populate. So this is ready to go. Everything's um, routed to, a, to, a, to its own output so I can control the drums separately. So that's a huge, huge time saving feature in Sonar um, for, y for you. So that's a, that's a big one right there. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to move along here to Sonar studio now so uh, sonar x3 studio is a huge value for anyone um, we introduce the pro channel we introduce um, this is amazing for me to even say but we have uh, melodyne essential uh, baked into um, to sonar x3 studio and we also have uh, the uh, a huge array of effects from blue tubes with uh, their vintage um, effects that also come stock standard with Sonar X3 Studio. So between the Pro Channel um, and between the Bluetooth stuff, the Essential, and all the core functionality, uh, Sonar X3 Studio really packs a huge punch in order to, be, uh, to, to make music like we've never seen before in terms of uh, a Cakewalk product. And that's, that's for $199, 169 pounds. Is that correct, John, in the UK, I believe? 169 pounds in the UK. So, um, you know, what what this brings to the table is amazing. So you've got Melodyne Essential. You've got um, the, the Pro Channel, which I'm going to show you right now what the Pro Channel is. Um, you've got uh, Vintage Style World Class Recording Reverb from Nomad, from Nomad Factory Bluetube. So pretty cool stuff here. Uh, exciting for that for $199 or 169 pounds. It's almost... Uh, it's amazing what um, what's packed in here for that price. Let me just show you real quickly what the uh, what the Pro Channel is. So, this actually right here is a console emula console emulator. This comes with uh, producer only. This comes with producer as well. But this comes stock with uh, with Sonar X2 X3 Studio. So I'm just going to hit the play here, and you can kind of hear what this thing does. It's an amazing, amazing, amazingly musical, real. British sounding EQ. May I say that here? <laughs> so you can hear this acoustic guitar. I mean, this is gorgeous sounding. It has four different modes here. 
Cure. You can see that the uh, it's all gain dependent Q with these different modes. So just in a second, I mean, we've gone from here to here. And you can really tell a great EQ and you can crank, crank it and it just doesn't hurt your ears at all. So what else comes with uh, with uh, in the Pro Channel for X3 Studio is this guy right here, which is the saturation knob. So this is the soft tube saturation knob. Really cool effect. I like using it a lot on, on synths. Sounds good on anything, though. Maybe not on acoustic guitars, but hey, you never know these days. There's no rules in the digital realm. Uh, so really cool stuff here. That all comes with... Uh, with Sonar X2 um, Studio. So getting into uh, a couple other things here, I want to show you guys. You can see here if you can pull up uh, the uh, my screen of the uh, my presentation, and you'll see that this is the new Melodyne Essentials. So basically, you just highlight a uh, highlight a clip, and you can right right click and select the region, and it's automatically going to populate down into the bottom half of your uh, of the um, of your console down there so you can see the tabs in the bottom I don't know if you can see that right here or not but right here these are where the tabs are in Sonar X3 so you can get your uh, Melodyne in one window and you can have uh, all your MIDI piano roll view in another window and you can have your mixing console in another in another um, window with the with the dock so real real cool stuff with Melodyne it's uh, the best engine out there, and we're psyched to have it integrated with with Sonar. Um, Nomad Factory, all these come with Sonar Studio and Sonar Producer. So you've got uh, six different uh, EQs, compressors, um, modulation. These are the EQs, actually. You've got a limiter, which sounds amazing, which I used on the master of... Uh, this track, which I'm going to play for you guys in a second. So it's basically uh, a $400 value in the United States for, d for dollars for this. And uh, you get all of this with Sonar Studio and Producers. So for, th for those of you that are looking to really up your game in terms of mixing, this is super professional right into Sonar. And that included with the Pro Channel. And you, uh, you can't go wrong for mixing. Also has the Blue Tubes uh, Blue Verb. So I don't know if any of you have heard of this or not, but uh, it's a world-class reverb. You can emulate stuff from the 80s all the way through. Um, really, really, really great sounding reverb. And this is all new, by the way. We still have Sonar, um, the Breverb, which is in Sonar and all that other stuff as well. But these are ju I'm just pointing out new features. Um, Modular Pro Channel, which I just showed you. And uh, another thing that I want to point out is that uh, it comes also with TH2 Sonar. So... Sonar X3 Studio comes with TH2 Sonar. TH2 is a guitar, um, a guitar module, um, guitar VST plugin made by Overloud, which are out of Italy. We've worked with closely with those guys, and uh, it's one of the best out there. Uh, that comes with uh, with Studio as well. So getting into producer now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, close this program out and open up another uh quickly open up another session here so i want to show you guys this uh sonar x3 producer that i'm getting into now it's an awesome view i love seeing that with the colors uh it helps my world out immensely and i think it's going to help your world out too if you have a lot of tracks going on so this is a uh track that i just fortunately had uh, the benefit of creating with Javier Colon, who uh, won NBC, the, the the show The Voice in the United States. Unbelievable talent. You should just check out JavierColon.com. He's a Sonar user, uh, great guy. We were able to make this song. We just wrote it um, two weeks ago, actually, and uh, recorded it real fast in a beta of Sonar X three producer and I just want to show you guys the power so everything that you're hearing here is uh, completely inside of sonar x3 producer um, and you're gonna hear something that I'm gonna point out so you can hear uh, really zoom in on the drums here and I'll tell you why in a second <laughs>
kind of move around here so you can see what, what, what I'm looking at. Cool. So what are you hearing here? You are hearing unbelievable drum sounds, and the reason why is because um, XLN Addictive Drums now is comes with Sonar X3 producer, the full version. Um, so excited to say that I've been using it for a long time. To me personally, it's uh, it, it's a go-to uh, drum module that you just can't compare with others. It's uh, finally in Sonar X3. Inside the box, you're really able to uh, make major label sounding records um, inside, and that's partially because of uh, of this uh, XLN Addictive Drum. So it's the full version. Really excited to announce that. So uh, Sonar X3 comes with um, Addictive Drums, full version, 100%. These are frozen. That's why you're getting that. Let me unfreeze them so we can see it. So a couple other things that uh, X3 producer comes with. Um, we've also gone the distance, um, and we've we've got uh, the Lounge Lizard uh, session Wurlitzer piano, vintage piano, um, which is also comes with Sonar X3 producer. I'm going to go through here and show you uh, all the producer. Stuff so we've got um, Lounge Lizard uh, Session Four, which is show you guys what that is real quick here. I'll just pull it in. So those of you that are either familiar with or not familiar with Lounge Lizard, here it is. It's best in the business. It's an absolute amazing sounding piano. And it's awesome because the hammer on it, it really feels like a road. So part of uh, why this thing is so awesome is because of how responsive it is. Awesome. So the Lounge Lizard uh, comes with Sonar uh, X3 producer. And another cool thing now, which I'm really, really excited about, is that the uh, Pro Channel is actually a pop-out with an analyzer. So this is huge as well for us to announce. A lot of people have been asking for it. Uh, standard on every single track now, you have a built-in analyzer so you can craft and sculpt your mixes with the, with the uh, Quad Curve EQ. It works the same. It's been enhanced a little bit, but visually it's, a, it's an amazing, amazing tool. Um, and it shows uh, you can, with pinpoint accuracy, really sculpt any of the frequencies. You're seeing the frequencies move around. So that's a huge, huge bonus for any mixing engineer to have this baked into every single, uh, every single track. Really cool stuff. Uh, so another uh, really exciting um, effect that we've built into, that's built into Sonar X3 producer, is the uh, Bifilter 2, which is awesome. I'm going to put it in on this acoustic guitar track just to give you an idea of kind of what this thing sounds like. So it's a filter effect, a ton of different presets, really cool sounding. I mean, you can use it on anyth anything from background vocals to uh, for special effects, for, ba for background vocals to uh, guitars to anything. Put it on synthesizers. Sounds really, really cool. Um, and let me just open up uh, the addictive drums here so you can kind of hear what this thing's all about. So if you're not familiar with addictive drums, You've got uh, three different kits with addictive drums. You can kill these on the fly. Uh, you've got different, a uh, whole bunch of different MIDI to, to choose from, and you can just drag and drop any of these MIDI files right into your browser, and it automatically will populate for you. 
So super, super powerful stuff there uh, with Addictive Drums. We're very excited to have the Addictive Drums uh, in there and also uh, Melodyne Essential as well, which comes uh, standard with uh, Sonar X3 Studio and X3 Producer. So that in a nutshell uh, basically is uh, a lot of different features which I've gone through for the core of Sonar X3, right into Sonar X3 Studio, and into Sonar X3 Producer. You can find more about it either on the SCAN website or www.cakewalk.com. My name is Jimmy Landry. I really appreciate you watching this, and uh, I want to thank all the SCAN guys for having me here, and I hope to see you guys again soon sometime. Thanks.